Do you know how to create KPIs in Excel with the help of Power Pivot? Let me demonstrate. So here you can see we have date, then sales person, and then sales amount we have. And I want to apply one pivot table. Then I want to create KPIs in the pivot table. How we can do that? Or we can select this data set. We can go to insert tab. We can click on pivot table and we will get this dialog box. We can select here, add this data to data model and we can click on OK. And your data will be added in the data model. Now you are able to use Power Pivot tab. And in this tab, what we need to drag, we, we need to drag the salesperson in the row section. And we have the salesperson. Now I want total sales for each salesperson. I can create a measure even. Like you can click on uh, measure and click on new measure. And here you will get one dialog box. And I want to give name it as total sales. And in the formula, we can use sum. So when uh, when you want to create any KPI, you need one measure first, then only you can create any KPI. So simply how we can create, we can type the sum function and we can select here sales. So this is the sales I've selected and you can check the formula and we are not getting any error in this formula. We can change this to number and we want here whole number scenario. And even we can use this use thousand separator and we can click on OK. Now we have a total sales. Now we are easily able to create a KPI. So this is the option that we can use. We can click on new KPI and in this KPI simply we need to give the absolute value. So the absolute value, let's say the base value will be the 4 lakh. I'm just taking as example. If you will press enter, now you have the scale here. So we can set. I want if value is greater than 4 lakh. So this will be the green color scenario I want. And if it is between, let's say, 3 lakh to 4 lakh, then I want yellow color. And below this 3 lakh, then I want red color. So this is the traffic icons that we can use or other icon also you can use. Let's say if I will select this one and we can click on OK. Let's see what we will get now. So we are getting this in C column 1, 0, minus 1 like this. But we want to show here lights, traffic lights or the KPI. So how we can do that? In the pivot table fields option, you will get this total sales with the traffic light scenario. You can unselect this status and again select this, you will get the traffic light scenario or the tick or this exclamation sign, exclamation sign and the crows. So this is how you can add even the goal. Like this is the goal that we have set. This is the base, base value on which that KPI is calculated. So this is how we can use KPIs in the power pivot. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And if you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much for watching.